We started analyzing business transactions for the novel cup, but only worked our way through the first one. Let's continue on and look at the rest of the transactions. Let's talk about each one. First, we want to make sure they each impacted the accounting equation. You found the perfect location and rented a space. The rent you're paying on this space does impact the accounting equation. You pay $2,000 a month in rent. This decreases cash and asset each month for $2,000. What's the rest of the transaction? Why are you paying this money? Because you're renting and occupying the space. You are using it as part of your business operations in order to sell coffee and books. This is an expense. Specifically, I would use the account rent expense. Rent expense and equity would increase for $2,000. Are we still in balance on the accounting equation? Remember what happens with expense accounts. This is a subcategory of equity. If expenses increase, retained earnings decreases. If retained earnings decreases, equity decreases. Therefore, assets decreased by $2,000 and equity decreased by $2,000. We're in balance. Next, you hired employees. Employees are said to be the company's biggest asset. So, does that mean an asset changed here? Not so fast. Hiring employees does not change the accounting equation. We've hired them, but they have not yet started working for us. Once they do, then this will impact the accounting equation. The next set of transactions are several purchases, getting the store ready for business. We purchased coffee equipment, coffee beans and supplies, books, and furniture and fixtures. Does this impact the accounting equation? Yes. All of these items are now things the company owns. We would increase assets for each of these purchases. Assuming we bought them for cash, we would decrease cash, also an asset for each of these purchases. Uh-oh, is this a problem? Can we increase and decrease assets at the same time? We can. Because we are not increasing and decreasing the same account, just the same category. Assume we paid $11,000 for the coffee equipment. We would increase an asset, the equipment account, for $11,000. We paid cash for the equipment, so we would decrease an asset account for $11,000. Is the accounting equation still in balance? Yes. Yes, it is. The other transactions would be similar. Purchasing coffee beans and supplies would increase inventory and supplies and decrease cash. Purchasing books would increase inventory and decrease cash. Purchasing those comfy chairs and bookshelves would increase an asset called furniture and fixtures and would also decrease cash. I think you've got this analysis thing down. The next step is recording these transactions. 